Is there any relief inside as the cost of everyday items continues to increase? President Biden is set to meet with the Federal Reserve Chairman today to talk about our inflation crisis. Cleo Green joining us right now. So Cleo, let's talk about what we can expect. Yes, so as you said, the president and the chairman, they're going to talk about, I guess, the inflation crisis that we're dealing with and the economy and ways to keep our economy steady. I do want to bring up this graph here of the Consumer Price Index. We use the Consumer Price Index to measure inflation. In March, it was at 8.5%. We haven't seen a rate this high since the 1980s, which is a big deal and not good at all. In April, it fell by a few to 8.3%. So this graph really shows you that inflation in the U.S. hit that 40-year high earlier this year. We are still dealing with supply issues as well. Now, a key driver of inflation at this point has been the cost of energy, which includes gas prices. That is hitting us really, really hard. This morning, the national average cost for a gallon of regular is more than $4.60. Many Americans are also dealing with sticker shock at the grocery store we're talking price hikes of, that are being seen from everything like mustard to frozen meat. Supply has been hurt by extreme weather that's lowered crop yields. Labor costs are up. The war in Ukraine has disrupted supply. Um, so all of these different factors adding to the cost of living. So let's hope that we learn something soon from their talks today. I do want to mention here that the chairman of the Federal Reserve has signaled that the Federal Reserve will likely raise the benchmark rate by about a half a point in both June and July, twice the size of the usual rate increase. And this is an effort to avoid us going into some sort of recession. Greg, I'll send it to you. All right.